Hi everyone, I'm Rishabh and today we are going to discuss about how to create a custom package in Crane. So this is the official repository of Crane. You can download it from here or you can clone it as well. And this is the admin panel of our Crane as I have already downloaded it. And this is the official blog presented over here of how to create a custom package in Crane. So before starting, I would like to highlight that what is CRM? CRM is a system used to manage customer interaction throughout the customer life cycle between the customer and sales department through the different channels. So directly moving for the setup. So firstly, you need to open it in your code editor as I have already opened it from here. And this is the directory structures of Crane. And now, in this package, we have a scenario like uh, whenever the admin lead follow up the pipeline, it get automatically updated and email goes to the admin. Like uh, if I update this from here or from here, automatically a mail goes to the admin. Right now the mail is not going. So our module is like this, whenever we need to, whenever the follow up pipeline get updated, it will automatically mail to the admin. So this is the structure. So firstly, you need to create a step one that is module setup. So in this, you have to create a custom uh, package by the name of custom workflow or whatever you want to create it in the web pool folder. So in the packages directory, there is a folder by the name of web pool. And in this, all the modules are being registered over here. So you need to create a new module in this directory. So I am creating by the name of custom workflow. Done. And now create a SRC folder inside it. So now our directory structure look like this. Inside the packages, there is a folder by the name of web pool. And there is a uh, module name by the name of custom workflow. And inside that, there is a SRC folder. As you can see over here. So before uh, moving further, uh, Firstly, make sure you have entered the credentials of email SNTV right in .env files. This .env file is presented in the root directory. So these are the credentials. Right now I'm using um, mailhop. So these are the credentials of my email SNTV. So now moving further. And now we need to register our package. So for that, we need to make registration to in two files, one is composer.json and another one is app.php. Now the question arises, where is this file located? So these files are located in the root directory. So firstly, that is composer.json. That composer.json file is presented over here. Now if you click onto that. Uh, you need to make an entry of that inside the auto load PSR port section. So these are all the registers modules are been presented over here. So we need to make a new entry here. By the name of custom workflow. Save this file. Now moving further. Uh, we need to make an entry in the config inside that there is a file by the name of app.php and this file is located inside app config and app.php file. And there is a providers array over here. So scrolling down you will be able to see that. This, these are all the registered service providers in the CRM packages. So we have to make entry of this over here. 
now right now it is giving an error because uh, providers is not being created yet so our next step is to create a providers see the step 2 copying from here we'll create a providers folder inside the packages World custom of pro SRC main folder and done and now create a file by the name of custom workflow service provider so this file is uh, resemble with your module name as like i am creating by the name of xyz so the service provider file will be xyz service provider right now we have created a module by the name of custom workflow so uh, accordingly our custom work uh, file name is custom workflow service provider so these both are relevant with each other just a second yeah now now our structure look like this that will this is the file in this file we have two methods one is the register method and another one is boot method so these both methods are responsible inside our service provider save this file and now hit this command of composer dump auto load Done. So now our package is ready to use. Moving further, now we need to create a one event service provider. Uh, we need to create this file because uh, there is a event file over here that is by the name of lead update after. So we need to listen that event so this event is fire in the lead controller yeah. see lead update after so we need to listen that event in our respective module so Again, I'm opening my module and creating a file by the name of event service provider.php inside the providers. see we have listened the event of lead update after and this is the a module name and this is update is the a method that is been called inside that lead controller now save this file We're moving further now we need to load this from our boot method so this boot method is presented in the custom workflow service provider here make an entry to listen that file now now it's time to create listeners listeners in crane are way to implement the observer pattern when listener respond to events that occurs in the application so for that you need to create a listeners folder now inside the src okay. And now create a file by the name of lead.php. Then in this file, we use the functionality of sending an email from here. This is giving an error because we haven't created this class of mail custom workflow. 
Now it's trying to create one more folder by the name of VM. Copy this. I'll create a folder by the name of VL and a file by the name of custom workflow that we just called it over here. This is the file. In this, we uh, use the user. We have a data of that admin. You can apply a DT to check. Save this. You're in the cache here. Let's go checking. See, after applying a DT, the data is invisible. This is the user data. And now we need to call the email to send to the admin. Moving further, now I'm requiring DT from there. See this file. Now we are creating resources. We need to create resources because uh, we need to show a template file that whatever will be visible in that mail. So we need to create inside the SRC folder by the name of resources. In the resources folder, we need to create another folder by the name of use. Inside the views, again create a folder by the name of mail. And now that view file by the name of customer.play.php. So this is the file, HTML file. In this, inside the body, we have composed a mail. You can compose it as per your requirements inside this. And now we need to load this from our service provider inside the booth method. We'll set the boot method and connect. Yeah. Now clearing the cache. Yeah. And now it's time to check the results. Yeah. See, a mail is been sent successfully a few settings ago. And this is the structure of our HTML file. And that mail goes to the admin. Again, if I update a file, update a lead file, again, the mail is being received to the admin. So this is all about it. So don't forget to like, comment and share this video. Thank you.